All right, my name's Liz. We're gonna go over how to fix this error code. We're gonna go from easiest solution to hardest solution. And um, also just as a shout out, try restarting your computer first if you haven't done that already. First, I'm gonna download the .NET Framework Repair Tool and I'm gonna open it up. The link for this is in the description down below because uh, commonly um, this not installing correctly can be a cause for it. So I'm gonna trust all and hit next and I'm gonna keep following the prompts till the very end to see if it diagnoses whether or not this is the issue. The thing that's great about this tool is it will tell me whether or not it is the issue. And as a side note, if you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more great content. Okay, so I'm going to continue to follow the prompts to the very end to see if this is my issue. Um, and it will, you know, go through the whole process and do its little thing. And then I will get some answers. So in my case, as you can see, this was not the problem. In your case, it could be something different. So if it fixes it, Go ahead, restart your computer and move on with your life. But for the rest of us, let's move on to the next solution. We're gonna hit finish and we're gonna exit out of the browser and we're gonna move on to the next step in the troubleshooting process. So after I close out the browser, now I'm going to do the next thing, which is I'm going to click on the Windows logo. I'm going to open settings and in the search bar, I'm gonna write troubleshoot because I'm gonna do a troubleshooter. All right, and then I'm gonna slip on this option right here, click on this one right here, and then I'm gonna do other troubleshooters. And I'm going, what I'm specifically looking for is the Windows Update Troubleshooter. As you can see, it's not down here, it's right here. And then I'm going to hit run. Now, a lot of people feel like, oh, troubleshooters don't always work, but in some cases they do, and they're easy to use, so you should always try it my friends why make more work when you don't need to so let's go ahead and do this thing it's going to run detect my problems it's going to go through the whole thing it's going to take a minute guys bear with me but as you can see it gives me this but i'm going to hit next and notice what happens on the next page it does resolve your problems this whole thing da, 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 da. Then at the very end, it tells me this, boom, it found a problem. Now I need to just restart compu my computer and move on with my life. So that was really easy. So it's worth a try because in my case, it will, it, you know, resolve my update issue. Um, now I am going to show you one more solution before that. Next thing I'm going to show you is that you're going to be in your manila envelope, click on this, right click on this PC and hit manage. Why am I doing this? Okay, next we're going to disk management. And we're gonna scroll down. Now, the next reason, uh, this is the hardest reason why people run into problems is this partition right here, your recovery partition, uh, is not large enough, right? And so that causes an issue with your, um, that causes an issue with your computer. So uh, right here, this instruction to manually resize your partition to install the WinRR partition. Uh, I'm that's in the description down below. It will show you a step-by-step -step process of how to expand your partition in disk part. Uh, it is all command is cut and paste. So I, re I recommend following the written version because then you can just copy and paste and it's significantly easier. But this is just an example of what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to shrink the old partition, disable it, and then make you uh, make a new one that's larger. So it's quite a long, quite a long task, but that is an option open to you if the first two options did not work. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.